Guys, today we have something interesting. It's the fact that there is another glitch in Madden. I know, right? Another glitch is like another day at EA Sports headquarters at this point. Yeah. So after a lot of people got their levels reset to level one, and now looking more into that, it seems like some people can't even get past level eight now when they're leveling up. Now there's a team captain glitch, so make sure... Listen, make sure you do not do this or you will lose your team captain. So, yes, if you want to exchange your team captain for somebody else, like you let's say you got Keyshawn Johnson and now you want Sam Adams, you have to make sure you do not you fully power down your team captain before putting them into the set. As you guys can see on my screen right here, let me go ahead and pull them up. I have him fully powered up. If I add him to the set right here, I will lose my team captain tokens. I know he technically should, he, well, technically speaking, he should not be able to be put in the set unless he is fully powered down. But how these team captains work is right now, you could put an 89 or raw in a, 88 or raw in a set and lose your team captain. So if you get, let's say, for example, I go Keyshawn Johnson. I will get Keyshawn fully normal without these two tokens anymore. So once the season does go ahead and progress to season two, I won't be able to upgrade Sam Adams. And how these team captains work is throughout the seasons, they get more and more uh, tokens so that they can get higher and higher overall cards. So <clears throat> right now, for example... I would be stuck with an 85 or whatever for the rest of or 86 overall for the rest of Madden. And I wouldn't be able to upgrade him even higher than that. So just be careful. Be safe. Do not put the 88 overall in the team captain set. I know I know, I know some people watching the video might be like, that's obviously who would do that. Trust me, a lot of people who are new into Madden might be like, oh, I'll just put it in the team captain set. I'll get my team captain tokens back. No. Do the due diligence and downgrade your team captain completely uh, before putting them into the set. So, let's rest this video. Let's go ahead and get some sniping done, guys. And let's talk about Man 23 in general. So, yeah. This is second glitch in a row in Madden already. And we're not even into September yet. This year so far, it hasn't been that bad. I mean, I feel like, obviously, yes. <laughs> so far, we've had some quick issues, um, but it hasn't been the worst year so far. I mean, content-wise, it's actually been pretty good. Gameplay-wise, <sighs> it's funny because you can literally now, audit, you can already dictate this year by a couple things. Edge Blitz 3 and Parham. And that should not be the case this early on in month. Should not be able to dictate the whole entire year based on those two things. But you can because this year so far has been <sighs> typical EA, but awesome. Surprisingly enough that we do not have more 59 minutes posted here. I mean, I'm recording this video at 2 a.m. in the morning, but I mean, we're really early in month. You would think there'll be a lot more people playing. I actually did get a pretty dang good snipe recently. Um, and the way I actually got the good snipe was actually not through going through these sets. It's actually selling my elite cards. And that's how I got the good snipe. I actually sort of up on the auction a player. And then I was able to get a snipe that way. But as you guys can see, this is not going to be a snipe right here. Anyway, though, like I said, though, this year so far, I've had no real issue with it. It's just <sighs> EA seems to be, you know, keeping with their... EA Sports of not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But at the same time, though, they are seeming to get better. And I think that's what we got to remember, right? <laughs> Every year, EA Sports is at a solid two. This might be the third time I get a snipe on Vita Vea. No, okay. No, not going to be a snipe. I was going to say, because I got Vita Vea a week ago for like 12K. That was my best snipe of the year so far. 12K Vita Vea. What we gotta remember is EA Sports usually is at a solid two every single season. Right now they're like at a solid six. 
And then after these glitches, they're going down now to like a solid five. It's still above a solid two. And I got, that's what we got to keep in mind. You know, this company, they find ways to do stupid stuff. So the fact that we're actually still somewhat in the green for them is actually heavily surprising. And we still have a lot of good content coming out very, very soon. I mean, we got Team of the Week coming out in the next week and a half. Once the season starts, Team of the Week is going to start going, guys. And I will definitely say September is going to be a tough month for Mutt just because, like, other than, like, side promos or mid promos, there's not going to be too many crazy promos. I mean, we have Campus Heroes coming out, obviously. Other than Campus Heroes, though, you know, this is going to start off September. We'll maybe get Team Captains, maybe not Team Captains, Team Diamonds. <laughs> But we're going to get, like, no insanely crazy promo. Like, yeah, Team Diamond is going to be nice and all. But we're not going to get any holiday promo until October, right? So, I'm going to be interested to see, you know, how Madden kind of flows. And that's what another thing I'm really interested in this year. How is the, like, kind of player base of Madden going to flow this year? Because I think after last year, we can all agree it was not a good Madden, right? Last year was pretty mid at best, if not below mid. So I'm wondering how people are going to go with this year because the second the Titanics are sinking here, I think a lot of people are going to jump ship. Rightfully so, after seeing how last season ended, I wouldn't blame people who just be like, you know what, I'm just not playing this game. I'm not doing this anymore. So I'm going to be interested to see if people saw it jumping ship right away. Or if people start actually trying to, you know, continue to play Madden, um, this Madden. Because obviously I'm going to play for content wise, but I don't blame a lot of people for quitting Madden early if it starts becoming, you know, not the greatest. Now, if you play franchise mode, this year's franchise mode is absolutely amazing. So they definitely improved something, but they didn't improve enough for me to be like, if you're just an ultimate team guy, I don't know. I mean, like, making coins this year is a little bit tougher than previous years. Obviously, power-ups being gone definitely is a downside. It's definitely a downgrade. But it's kind of the direction we're going into. And I, I said this before. I know right now the, the field pass is free and all these passes are free. Obviously, we ought to glitch with these passes. But between that making it almost impossible to level up. I mean, I'm level 28 and I'm a YouTuber and that's how you know it's bad. I should not be level 28 as a YouTuber. Okay. But it's that hard to level up this year. It really is that hard to level up where in previous years, I would spend all night grinding and get to level 50 so I could show you guys the content, but I simply can't get to level 50. I've grinding out all my achievements. I mean, we go back real fast because obviously sniping is not working right now. I mean, we go to my field pass, right? Uh, let's go to this one. <laughs> you know, daily done. Ultimate team done. Stats, I have everything done except for the tackles. And that's really hard to get done all these tackles. Daily objectives, I'm 17 out of 20. I haven't done these as much as I should be doing these. Uh, competitive. I haven't played competitive as much. Headliners. I'm pretty much done there. Uh, which I need to get actually get done because they actually do. Well, I mean the field passes. I need to get the field passes done. Um, I'm 80 out of 100 here for all Madden, Team Infinity, that. So, again, like I said, you know, I tell me down below what level you currently are at. It's, it's definitely difficult. It's definitely difficult to grind as much and make coins as fast as you. I have 2 million coins because the bundles have been stupid insane. But, you know, other than sniping, which I have made a lot of coins from sniping. Don't get me wrong. I made like 200k from sniping. But it's not like old years. It's definitely not like it used to be. But definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.